Hey, okay, so today I'm going to talk about the board game Wrath of a Shardalon, something along those lines. Yeah, so um, I played this game uh, two days ago. Yeah, anyways, so I played this game and I've played Castle Ravenloft, which is the predecessor to um, Wrath of a Shardalon. Oh, and I should mention that these are D&D games. And uh, they're made by Wizard of the Coast. So, the mechanics uh, draw a lot from D&D, obviously. It's basically like D&D minus the role-playing and plus the, I guess, the skirmish kind of aspect of the game. Uh, everything... It basically takes... This board game basically takes the DM and turns him into like a pile of... A couple piles of cards that you draw, like encounter cards, monster cards, treasure cards. And um, then you just basically follow uh, a mechanic in the game that makes the game progress. So, now I'm going to talk about... Uh, a lot of people had, I guess, a lot of problems with Ravenloft. It being that it, that it was too hard, that every time you explored a new tile which you generally do about, I'd say, between 8 to 15 of them a game, uh, new monsters would come out and attack you. So uh, that obviously made the, the uh, difficulty of the game very high. Because um, they are always attacking you before you get to attack them. Now, with the Wrath of a Shardalon, um, that hasn't changed. And uh, I think the encounter cards, I mean, there was about five of us. We played a randomized uh, adventure. So what, what happened in our adventure was that we went until we found a chamber tile. And the chamber tile was a random... Once we got the chamber tile, we all drew from a bunch of cards um, that were all basically big villain cards. One of them could have been a Shardalon, the dragon. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Uh, some big tentacle monster. I don't know. Goth or something. Uh, yeah, so there's just a bunch of different villains. We drew one that was... He had 10 hit points, but his AC was pretty low. So, anyways. Uh, throughout the game, I'd say the game progressed pretty well, considering there was five of us playing. So... Mo quite a few of us were like first time players so obviously there was a learning curve and that part was a little difficult and I think that's what kind of slowed the game down because the overall the overall game took about three and a half hours maybe four hours maybe even five it was it actually ended up taking a long time and uh, that's one thing about Ravenloft is that usually we could finish in about an hour when I played Ravenloft, every time I played Ravenloft, it's never really taken more than maybe an hour and ten minutes. So, uh, personally, I didn't mind spending a f four hours because it was like a Saturday. It was during the day. I had, you know, I wasn't, I didn't have any plans for the day. So, you know, spending four hours playing an awesome board game, you know, no problem with that, right? So, it was good. Um... Now, there was only one part that got, I can't say tedious, maybe overwhelming, it was tedious. Uh, it was like, the game was just got like slow, and, and it, I don't want to say it was dull, but it was like, I don't know, the, these words I'm throwing around sound like they're contradicting each other, but what basically happened is, I was a wizard, we, I drew lots of encounter cards, um... In one term, it was like, I drew an encounter card and like, Earthquake, everybody takes damage. I drew another encounter card, and then it says, draw another encounter card. So I drew another one, and then something else bad happened, took more damage off. Then I draw another one, and I, I ended up drawing like, three or four encounter cards, and like, at the end I was put in, a, in this cage... <laughs> and uh, I had to take a saving I had to do a saving roll and I took damage and it was just like not cool man <laughs> I lost like 4 hit points in one turn and then I was dead and I was like dead in a cage and then 
the cleric came over and healed me, and then I still had to get out of the cage, and it was like a nightmare. <laughs> so I'd say like, and 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 then that section there, we we got like bogged down in like one little chamber of the like dungeon for like maybe an hour. Just more and more monsters came, and we couldn't progress, and we we're stuck in the same spot when all that happened. So. I'd say like that was like my only criticism of the game is that it kind of felt like it was grinding to a halt there. So like that's why I've been throwing around words like tedious, but at the same time there's a whole lot of monsters, so then it gets like overwhelming because you you know you got like you're gonna die, you're facing death. And we're we're all like oh man, we're not gonna live this, we're not gonna live this, except for the one guy who's played the game before is like. It's gonna turn out. Things will turn out. Don't worry about it. You know, it's, it's all. It'll all work out in the end. And we're like, no, no way. This is too crazy. There's like, there's like five or six monsters, and like, we weren't exploring anymore. We were just trying to like survive, and like, we kept pulling encounter cards that brought out more and more monsters, and it was just like, oh my god, this is too hard. So um, I don't know. I'd say the game's pretty good. I can't imagine that's going to happen a whole lot. Um, again, there was five of us, so we're drawing lots of encounter cards if we're not exploring. So, um, and the encounter cards are always something bad. Like, I think like once it was like, oh, you get a treasure, draw a treasure card. But every other encounter card was like, if one of you is not on the same tile as everyone else, that person automatically takes damage. Or the, the, like, there's lava falls on your tile with, on the active player's tile. Everybody on that t tile takes damage until, and you keep taking damage on your turns until somebody deactivates the trap or something. Oh, it's just crazy. But, uh, it did all turn out in the end. We did beat the monster and it was a lot of fun. So, I guess my review of a Shardalon would be a positive one. Uh, maybe a rating out of 10, I don't know, 8, maybe even 9, like, it. when I was finished the game, I was pretty tired, and I was thinking, like, I don't know if I'll ever play that game again, but in retrospect, I think I will play that game again, I think, you know, read it soon, too, I think I'll play it soon, it's a lot of fun, alright, see you guys later.